Okay, let's assume you've been working on a Docker image and you're working on a Docker container and you're happy with the way it works. You're in a test environment and everything's great and you want to actually move this um, Docker image or the container to a, another machine. Um, this machine could be a live environment. This machine could be a Synology disk station as we're going to use in this example. So how do we actually get to do that? Now, basically speaking, once you've got the Docker image listed in your images, as you can see here, we actually want to save this image as a file and then move it across to the Synology disk station. Now, in order to do this, we basically need to run the docker save command, which is like this, docker save hyphen zero, which actually says I want to output this to a file. And then from this, we want to say the path we want to save the image to, such as docker images, which is upper directory for me, and then give it a name, such as we'll call it um, test image. And then we'll give it the tar extension. Now, we must also put the image after this, which is listed here. And we want to basically add that to it. So we do test image there. Now what this does, we tell Docker to save this image as a file, put it in this path and use that image to save. So we'll run that now and it'll take a few seconds to run and we'll do now. And what this will do, this will basically package up the image um, into a single tar file put it in the directory we specified and then we shall go to the docker images folder oh. we shall go to the docker images folder and then you'll see the test image.tar is now listed so um, we've got the tar file ready. How do we get this moved across? And um, there's basically, there's a, probably a few ways you know about how to move files across to your Synology disk station. We can either map the network drives um, and then do a copy and paste from your Windows machine, which is, you know, gets the job done. Or we can actually um, SFTP from the disk station file manager to the test machine where this test image dot tar lives and copy it over like that so like i said we'll do that so it's probably the easiest way if you can actually copy um, a tar file to your synology disk station so we'll do that now so in order to do this we go to our synology disk station we go to the file station then under the tools tab we go to remote connection and then remote connection setup from there, we'll select SFTP, and then we shall put our credentials in, which is 192.168.1.162 is our test machine where the tar file lives. Port 22, we're going to log in as root, and we're going to use the root password. And then we're going to click apply, and then click yes. And then this will set up an SFTP connection to the test machine where we can find the files we need to work on. So the files in question are under my home directory. Once it loads up and it's in my Docker images directory. So what we should do, we should basically right click the tar we just created on the command line and we'll click copy to move to and copy to and we'll basically store it in a folder on the disk station. And then we'll do that now. So once we do got actually go to the destination folder, you'll see the file has been created and it's ready to load. So let's assume you've already got Docker installed onto the Synology disk station and we're going to basically add the image to it so once we go to docker we go to the images tab on the left and then click the add button with the drop down and then add file um, basically add from file so we click on add from file we locate 
the correct directory where the tar file is. Click on the test.image.tar, click select, and this will now start loading this into Docker. And then once it's loaded, it should appear here. Now, at this point, we can basically uh, boot it up because it's already been loaded over. So what we can do, we can do the launch command, and then we can give this some, you know, some settings such as we can do basic CPU priority, memory limit, blah, 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 blah. And we can also click on the advanced settings and then make sure we map a port to it. So I'm going to map port 4000 so we can map the internal port to the external port so we can then visit our disk station on port 4000 and then let it do its thing. So we'll do that now. Click apply, click next. Click apply, get it running. And then with a bit of luck, once we go to our containers tab, you'll see that test image is loaded and is running. Now we'll give this a few seconds before we actually test the port, but once it is up and running, we can basically then visit our disk station IP address under port 4000 and you'll see that hello world version one is loaded. Now this is the, this, this is the test image was loaded and basically that's that. So that's how you basically run a, uh, an image in Docker, you know, then copy that image to your disk, disk station, um, then load it into Docker and then run it. And hope it was helpful. Uh, please subscribe and leave me a comment if you need to.